All right, so this next quick lesson is subtracting, and we're going to do subtraction, and then subtraction across zeros. And guys, it's super easy. It really is. It's just like addition. You need to take your time. All right, so my first problem I'll do here is 63,581 minus 37,500. 29, 29. Okay, so we have a five digit number minus a five digit number. My place values are lined up. It's a subtraction problem. Boys and girls, you can even put a line if you need to put a line to separate your place value. Okay, do whatever you need to do to make sure that you do this correctly. All right, so I start out with one minus nine. I can't do. I go to my neighbor. Is there one to regroup? Yes. Cross to 8 out, first step. This needs to be done first. 8 becomes a 7, and the one that you took from there goes right in front of the guy that needs help. 11 minus 9. Well, guys, if you don't know your facts, go from 9 and count up to 11. It's 2. 7 minus 2 is 5. 5 minus 5 is 0. 3 minus 7, can't do. But does your neighbor have one that you can take? Yes. Step 1, cross him out, reduce him by 1. He becomes 5. The one that you took from here goes right in front of the guy that needs help. So 3 becomes 13. 13 minus 7. And again, if you don't know your facts, count up from 7 to 13. Should be 6. And 5 minus 3 is 2. How do I make sure it's right? You do the opposite. So I take the 26,052. I'm going to add it to 37,529. So let's see if I'm right. Well, 2 plus 9 is 11. We know you can only put one digit in one's place value. Circle it. Don't forget it. I have 5 plus 1 is 6 plus 2 is 8. 0 plus 5 is 5. 6 plus 7, well, 13. Okay, bring the 1 over, regroup it. And then this equals 2 plus 1 plus 3 is 6. Is this what I started out with? Yes. So then you know you've done a good job. All right, let's do a problem across zeros because again, guys, it is super easy if you take your time. So let, we're just gonna make this easy one. 25,000 minus, I don't know, 3,986. Okay, we're subtracting across zeros. Well, start here, zero minus six, can I do it? No. Does your neighbor have one that you can take? No. Does this neighbor have one? No. This neighbor does. So you take one from the five, he becomes a four, and the one that you took has to go right directly next to him, to that neighbor. Still over here, can't do. Is there one there that I can take? Nope. But there is one at this guy, so cross him out, he becomes a nine. The one that you took goes right there. I'm still stuck here, zero minus six, can't do. Go to your neighbor. Well, he now has something that you can take. Take one away from 10, becomes a nine, and bring the one over there. And then it's just strictly subtracting. 10 minus six is four. Nine minus eight is one. Nine minus nine is zero. Four minus three is one. And then two minus nothing, okay? Well, we know we need to prove it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my answer of my subtraction problem. I'm going to do the opposite operation, and I'm going to add what we subtracted out. Let's see if it works. I hope it works because you know what, guys? Sometimes I'm known to make a mistake. Okay. Well, let's see. So 4 plus 6 is 10. Drop your 0 in. Regroup the 1. 1 plus 1 plus 8 is 10. Regroup the 1. 1 plus 9 is 10, regroup the 1. And then 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 3 is 5, 2 plus nothing, 25,000 is what I started with. All right, so you are going to get ready to do some problems. Boys and girls, especially when we start doing this type of work, you really need a piece of paper and pencil. Take your time to solve the problems because on these questions, they give you plenty of time to solve it. Not only solve it, but then make sure it's right. All right.